What are the four habits you need to generate wealth and achieve financial freedom? We often think of habits as bad tendencies, things we know we shouldn't do, but we do anyway. Things like staying up into the early hours of the morning, constantly eating junk food, or spending too much time on things that bring little value to us. But habits can be incredibly beneficial to us too. Positive habits provide some sort of benefit, whether that be financially, physically, or psychologically. Positive habits that are consistently stuck to are common traits among wealthy people because they demonstrate a level of discipline and commitment to achieving your goals, leading people to be successful in making them. The ability and willingness to adopt certain behaviors has allowed many people to generate significant wealth and achieve financial freedom. And in this video, we will cover four of these habits that you need to do this. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first habit is to invest your money. Investing is an essential step people must take to build their net worth and obtain a secure income. Getting your money to work for you rather than you are working for your money is the essence at the core of financial freedom. Don't take it from me, but from one of the most successful investors of all time. As the famous Warren Buffett says, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. Investing in income generating assets will allow you to earn income without trading your own time and effort, much like a day job. If you're new to investing and want to learn more about how to get started, I'll leave a link in the description below to some other videos of mine that I would highly recommend to anyone getting started out or click on the icon in the top right hand corner. Income generating assets can be anything from stocks, real estate, bonds or private ventures. Find out what interests you the most and start to invest your money. Simply saving money does not generate wealth. In fact, over time, the only thing your savings will do is erode in value due to inflation. Cash is one of the worst holdings in terms of exposure to inflation. And in the current climate, with inflation rates at their highest in many years, you want to be invested in assets rather than holding large sums of cash. The second habit is obtaining financial literacy. Understanding the basics of your finances is essential to building your net worth. Being able to budget effectively, outline all your costs on an ongoing basis to see what you're spending on enables you to set aside larger sums of money for investing. If you've never budgeted before, you may find that once you outline all of your expenses, there are things that you consistently overspend on that do not provide much value to your life and eliminating them frees up more capital for investments and wealth generation. Examples of poor financial literacy can be as simple as being paid £2,000 per month, but already committing to £1,800 in monthly expenses in rent, subscriptions, memberships and more. It's hard to build your net worth when most of your money regularly leaves your account so easily. Another example of poor financial literacy is spending on credit cards and only choosing to make the smallest repayment required because it's good for cash flow, knowing that in the long run you've committed so much of your money to ridiculously high interest payments and the opportunity cost of being able to take that money and invest it is lost. Spending more time researching potential investments will also improve your financial literacy. Reading through accounting statements, understanding the differences between a balance sheet, a profit and loss, and a cash flow statement. These become even more significant if you decide to go down the route of setting up your own business. Financial literacy should be treated as a core component that you need to grasp, much like a language. Becoming more confident in your finances will make such a difference in building your wealth. The third habit to get into to help you build wealth and achieve financial freedom is smart spending. Learning how to allocate your capital the right way. Building wealth isn't just about making as much money as possible and never spending it. It's understanding what enhances your life, your work, or frees up your time and spending it on those things rather than on material items that don't do anything for you. 
Spending money on goods or services that free up your time to pursue more opportunities to generate wealth are so valuable to you. Think of it as a cycle. You make money through whatever means you currently have, whether that be a day job or through a passive income stream, thinking back to our investing habit. That money can then be spent on goods or services that free up your time to continue to pursue passive income streams. An example might be a high quality microphone for a new podcast you decide to create to generate some additional income. The new microphone will enable you to produce higher quality content and attract a wider audience, allowing your podcast to become more successful and grow. As it grows, you increase your income and can invest more money into the podcast or other sources of income, such as your stock or real estate portfolio. The cycle becomes self-fulfilling and can even compound over time. If you want to learn more about the benefits of compounding an investment, click on the banner in the top right hand corner to see why compounding dividends in your stock portfolio can generate significant wealth in the long run. Another example of smart spending is on services that free up your time. For example, you decide to spend your money on a cleaner to clean your house once a week rather than spending the time to clean it yourself. In doing so, you freed up a couple of hours per week of your own time to focus on activities that could help you build your net worth, like sourcing opportunities for rental properties or analyzing potential stock investments, while also living in a clean environment that is good for your mental state. As Elon Musk says, time is the ultimate currency. Freeing up your time and dedicating it to making your financial situation better is a great way to work towards building wealth. And finally, moving on to the fourth habit, and that is investing in yourself. We've talked about investing in assets and how they can help you build your net worth and generate streams of income, but investing in yourself is of even greater importance. Focus on your own areas of improvement, and these will flow into your other habits naturally. If you put yourself in a positive mindset to enhance yourself as much as possible, you will elevate your potential and maximize your value to the world. Thinking about taking up photography to post great content to your social media accounts and build an audience? Maybe even start a YouTube channel. Pursuing a hobby of interest that can be beneficial for you financially can reap rewards in the long run. Have you been considering a professional degree at work but have never got round to it? Investing the time and effort into getting that degree or certificate now can lead to rewards in the future. You're able to apply those skills in your job, making you better at what you do, and employers will recognize this and pay you what you are truly worth in the market. Don't expect immediate results. Delayed gratification is key and understanding the foundation you are building today will allow you to flourish and succeed in the future. Investing in yourself can be as simple as setting a goal to read more. Start off by committing to reading a few pages of a book each day and build from there. Once you've established your habit-forming behavior, reading will be like muscle memory. If you're feeling more ambitious, try the 52 in 52 challenge, where you read a book each week for a whole year. It might sound daunting at first, but you will be astonished at the level of knowledge you can obtain by investing in yourself continuously for one year. Once you see the results, the hunger to achieve more will be the drive that motivates you further. So there you have it, four habits that you can adopt on your path to building wealth and achieving financial freedom. Investing your money over saving, financial literacy, smart spending, and investing in yourself. If you got value out of this video, make sure to drop a like down below and consider subscribing to WiseWealth for more personal finance and investing content. Thanks for watching and until next time, see ya.